This video will guide you through creating a solid edge assembly. There are two ways to get started. For an empty assembly file, go to the application button and select new isometric assembly. Alternatively, from your part file, go to the application button, select assembly of active model. This will create an assembly with your current part as the first component. The component will be grounded with its origin matching that of the assembly. To add additional parts, drag them in from the parts library. You can use the navigational icons to browse to the folder that contains your part files. Selecting a part will give you a preview. Drag in the part you wish to assemble. The assemble toolbar will appear giving you options about how you want to assemble your parts together. You can use the default flash fit which selects the type of relationship for you or you can specify the relationship you require. Select the face on the part or subassembly you are assembling and then the corresponding face within your assembly. When the component has been fully positioned its appearance will change from transparent to solid. Using FlashFit has positioned this part incorrectly. To view and edit the relationships, select the part or subassembly in the Pathfinder. Selecting each relationship will give you a preview and a toolbar will appear to edit the relationship. This subassembly has two axial relationships and a planar align. I will flip the planar align over to create a mate relationship. Now the subassembly is correctly positioned. Continue to add and position components in your assembly. If you are repeatedly positioning the same component, you may want to use Capture Fit to speed up the process. Select the component in the Pathfinder and select Capture Fit on the toolbar. The relationships will be saved with the file and you will be prompted to select the mating faces when you next assemble the parts. If you want to place another instance of a component, you can also drag it in from the Pathfinder rather than from the Parts Library. Use the right mouse button to accept your inputs and dismiss the toolbar. Here I've added a planar align, however the faces cannot be coincident because of the axial relationship. By swapping the option to float, you will create a planar relationship at the current offset. The assembly relationships can be accessed directly from the Home tab, and once the original assembly toolbar has been dismissed, you can choose the relationship you require from the toolbar and add it. In large assemblies, depending on your opening settings, you may find that parts are set to inactive. I'll inactivate this subassembly and show you what happens. Components which are inactive turn grey and their faces cannot be selected for relationships. The activate command can be used from the assemble toolbar so that you can continue the task. If you decide to change the assembly structure, subassemblies can be created by selecting the parts and using the transfer command. The interpart relationships are then transferred to the subassembly. Components that are not fully positioned will be shown with brackets indicating that they can move. If you hover over the part, the dialog box will indicate that the part is under constrained. Fully constrained parts will also be shown. You may find the Assembly Relationship Manager useful. Here I'll open up the Assembly Relationship Manager and I'll delete this relationship using the delete key. I'll then go and add a new one to the handle.
Now both components are under constrained and move together. You have now seen the basics of getting started with assemblies. For more help go to the Learn tab for tutorials and guidance or visit our YouTube channel for more helpful videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you.